up guys I'm really happy to finally be bringing you part three of this base build this has been a long journey building this base and I finally gotten to it so yeah I'm just putting the finishing touches I just have one more little segment to make and then find a place for my expo so yeah there's my wizard tower it's upgrading still to level six it took eight days at first so yeah that was a long and hard upgrade and uh, I think next I'll be getting a level seven mortar because I kinda have one centralized mortar and if that's the highest level then I think that'll really help defend against the infantry like archers and barbarians and goblins and all that uh, with my Dark Elixir, I'm going to upgrade my King to level 2 because I want to keep upgrading him until he's level like 20, but that's going to take a really long time. So, yeah, because he really helps change a battle sometimes. When you're attacking with him and you just need to destroy one more thing to get 50% or to get 3 stars and he just comes in and gets it for you. So, yeah, he can really help with battles. And one week exactly until my level seven, my level six archers. So with that and the barbarian king level two, I think I'll become a lot better at attacking. Um, next I think I will be upgrading. Well, after I upgrade my mortar, I think I might get a, another Tesla or upgrade my third archer tower to eight because my archer towers are lacking behind my cannons. Because my I have all my cannons to eight except for one, and then my archer towers are still all level seven, but two of them. So yeah, I have to upgrade those, and then of course my walls are always too low, because I rush my town hall. And a uh, shout out to cynical thieves. They're my clan. Um, they give you troops instantly. They're amazing. So yeah, shout out to them, especially Blink Late. Her, she's really good. She's a great leader for our clan. She comes in and out. And um Yeah, so and all the elders, like Maestro, Tarin, Milo, Milo Winters, um yeah, all them. They really donate. And, and Andrew, he donates a lot. He has like fourteen hundred donated this week in only four days. So yeah, he's really good. Um, for I, the last things that I'm going to upgrade on my defenses are definitely going to be my Expos or my Teslas to 6, but probably my Expos because I don't think they get that much better. They only do 20, uh, yeah, 25 more damage per second. So, I mean, I don't really think it's worth it, honestly. But, yeah, those are going to be my last defenses that I finally upgrade. And then in my, um... Laboratory, I might be getting Giants level 5 and then maybe upgrading those to 6 because I'm kind of running out of ways to use my Elixir. Like, because I have all, all the troops that I use right now are max level. So it's like I really don't know what to do with my Elixir other than upgrade my army camps and maybe just spend it on a bunch of mindless stuff like balloons or stuff like that. And then I'm going to keep my gold maximum at like 4.25 million because if I upgrade that last storage to 11 it's gonna be too difficult to guard all of them while guarding my dark elixir also so I'm not gonna upgrade that to 11 unless I really need it like for a uh, wizard tower 7 or something but I'm not gonna be getting those anytime soon so I'm not gonna upgrade my last storage yet and um yeah Splash buildings are probably the most important buildings in the game right now as uh, at this trophy level because I never really get attacked by dragons or P.E.K.K.A.s. Rarely I do. Not P.E.K.K.A.s at all, but sometimes dragons people attack me with. And my clan house troops just take care of them, so it's really not that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, P.E.K.K.A.s would be a really big problem if anybody attacked me with them because my... Cannons and arch towers aren't really that high yet, so they wouldn't be able to take care of them too quick. 
And P.E.K.K.A.s just do so much damage. It's like they just tear through any base. Um, my army camps, yeah, they're all level 6. One's upgrading to 7. So I want to really try and get those to 7. Because the 7 ones just look awesome with the black spikes coming out. And the campfire. And all that. So I'm really just putting the finishing touches on my base. I have the base structure done right now. And then I think... We'll do an attack at the end because I'm gonna run out of time, which wouldn't, which isn't good. I mean, no. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm not gonna run out of time. I'm not gonna have. It's not gonna be that long of a video, and I'm sure you guys like longer videos because everybody loves more clash, right? So, yeah, the clan chat. Sometimes it says like six days ago when he just when somebody just sent a message so i'm not sure if supercell is gonna fix that soon or if they even realize that it's happening i hope they do realize because one of my friends said that he got one that said a y one year ago so yeah and also feature points if you guys haven't checked that out i'll put it in the description make sure you go to featurepoints.com. Well, all the steps will be in the description, but make sure you do it because it's a great way to get Clash of Clans gems from downloading free apps and just playing them for 30 seconds. So yeah, that's a that's a great way. And then my Teslas, they're kind of lacking. Like I only have two Teslas and they're both level one. So Teslas do help a lot against Pekka attack and Dragon attack because they do two times damage to Pekkas and uh and they just shoot really fast so that they can take out infantry. They can really do a lot and they take up uh, they take up such a small area that they're really effective if you use them correctly. And but make sure you don't make it too obvious cuz with the new update if it's in a 4x4 area the Tesla is, you can spawn in the center of that even though there's a Tesla there. So make sure you don't do that and you fix your bases if they are like that. Because that could be a big problem if you have Teslas next to your resources and people just spawn right there and take it all. So yeah, that's a big issue in the new update. I'm kind of just now rearranging my elixir collectors and mines. Making sure that they get mixed up so that somebody can't attack me. And just get all my gold from one place if I've been offline. Or all my elixir from just one place if I've been offline. So make it a little difficult for them. And um. Yeah I'm, I'm not sure. I've heard a lot of rumors about Town Hall 10s. But I don't think they're going to come out with them for a while. I think they're going to stick with making more dark troops. And then maybe adding another level to the dark elixir storage. But I, I don't I don't really know. They might do that or they might not. I'm just making a bunch of speculations, but yeah, and then they might add a they're gonna add a level to the dark barracks once they come out with new troops. And then I hope they upgrade I hope they make a new spell factory level because it's been four's been the maximum for a while and that would be really cool if they added a new spell. Like I don't know what they could make, but like a lightning spell, but it just does damage to one building. They could do that. That might be a little overpowered. But I'm not really sure. So yeah, I'm going to get right into attack right now because my base is finished. So let's search for an attack. Okay, that, that one barely had any resources. Only 13,000 elixir. Okay, yeah, this one's pretty good. And I think it's all in their minds and collectors. So I'm going to try and get 50% so I don't lose 26 trophies and pick off all their things, all their mines and collectors with my level 6 barbarians and level 5 archers. So I'm just picking off these buildings, all the free buildings that people leave outside of their defenses. And so at least I don't have clan castle guys, so that's good. And then I'm going to set down more archers. Pick off. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of gold from the mines and collector. I mean, from the mines. So I'm going to send it a few goblins to take them down. Yeah, a lot of it's in their mines, I think. Or if not all of it. 
Looks like they've been inactive for a while. And they're Town Hall 7, so if I was a Town Hall 8, I could be getting 200,000 from each of these. Uh, from I mean, in total, from each resource. So I'm just trying to get this elixir now. I'm at 37%. There goes a shield. Free shield, you're welcome. And uh, so yeah, there we go. We got 50%. So, I'm going to keep attacking a little bit, see if I can get 100%, but I don't think I want to waste all my troops. But maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to spam a little more archers. Wow, like those got destroyed by the mortar. Uh, yeah, so level 6 archers wouldn't get that much damn, get hurt that bad because they'll have two more health, which makes them be able to take a level 5 mortar hit so that'll be good when I get those also I'm just gonna send a little bit more barbarians in here and then yeah I'm oh whoops okay I didn't mean to do that wall breaker thing with three wall breakers I meant to switch to the barbarians and do that so, yeah, I'm just going to finish this base up a little bit, destroy some of their things. How much time is left? Like 40 seconds? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get all their stuff. Send in some goblins maybe to get in there. So I'm getting their, the last of their elixir. Those goblins are going to do work. And then I'm going to run out of time. I'm not going to be able to three-star this. Try and get the town hall at least. Send in the king, maybe, to get him. Oh, no, but everything's attacking. Okay, good. So I got two stars. So I'll probably get about seven trophies. I mean, 14 trophies, about. Oh, wow, I'm not going to get this. There's going to be a building in the corner. Oh, could have gotten it. But, I didn't. but that was a good attack anyway. 115,000 gold, 110,000 elixir. So, yeah, thank you for so much support, guys, through my base builds and my nine dragon defense video. So, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, Darcy, for the dragon. See ya.